Hi, Movie Chronicles here. Today, I'm going to explain a drama and fantasy film called Collective Invention. The movie begins with an ABS station reporter named Sang Wan editing his news documentary on a man named Park Gu who turned into a fish man due to side effects from an experimental drug created by Ganmi Medical. Five years ago, when Park Gu's girlfriend, Ju Jin, first broke this story, people found it hard to believe and called her a liar. They harassed and ostracized her, but later it dawned on the Korean society that Park was actually telling the truth. The confirmation sent the society into chaos, and everyone in Korea was talking about the fishman. For some, the fishman was a hero. For others, he was a con man. Sang Won is later visited by Fishman's ex-girlfriend, June. She notes what a big reporter he has become and asks him if he is still working on the Fishman documentary. Sang Won tells her that he has dropped the story and he is too busy making ends meet. However, Jin calls him out for lying because she knows that he cares about the documentary as much as she does. She tells him that he is Park Gu's last hope and hands him an envelope before leaving. The content of the envelope sent Song Wu to the time when no one except Jin had seen the fishman, and Sang Wan first appeared before Dong Sik for his job interview. In the interview, he claims that he tends to represent the people and highlight the injustice in society. To prove himself to be worthy for the job, Dong Sik asked Sang Wan to check the veracity of the then emerging fishman story as an assignment. Sang Wan immediately goes to Ju's residence and convinces her to give an interview, in which she reveals that Park Gu and her were just a one-time thing, and she reported his whereabouts to Ganmi Medical in exchange for money when he came asking her for help. Since then, Ganmi Medical has kept Park Gu under captivity, fearing public backlash. To prove herself, Jin sneaks into the Ganmi Medical headquarters with Sang Wan posing as food delivery workers. They set off all the fire alarms of the building complex to send all Ganmi staff out of the building and go live with the fishman on social media. After the expose, Ganmi Medical found itself in hot water and Sangwon secured a job as trainee reporter at the ABS station. After Dong Sik tasks him to continue investigating the fishman story, he interviews the fishman who reveals that he signed up for the clinical trials because he was unemployed and broke. Fishman's father crashes the interview halfway through and smacks his son for landing himself in such a situation. Jin and Sang Wan calm him down and convince him to let them continue the interview. Following the interview, Ganmi Medical and its lead scientist, Dr. Bu, formally apologized to Park Gu and the public. Dr. Bu also shared the findings of the clinical trial with the public. It is revealed that Dr. Bu and his team extracted a nucleus from tuna and salmon and spliced it with stem cells to create a self-replicating protein. This protein provides one with limitless energy. Moreover, it was found to suppress the growth of cancer cells in a subject's body during the clinical trials. With the protein creating a chance to end world hunger and cure cancer, the world's perception about Ganmi Medical and Dr. Bu changed overnight. However, Dr. Bu never agreed to meet the media or give interviews after that press conference. Song Wan hires Jin to help him ambush Dr. Bu in his home's parking lot and force him to answer questions. However, Dr. Bu outsmarts them and manages to get away. Nevertheless, the fishman becomes the youth icon as they see themselves in him, a young man that had to sign up for a shady job because of family and societal pressure to earn money. Popular attorney Kim Tae-gun, known for his work in human rights movements, volunteers to fight the fishman's case pro bono. On the verdict day, the district court suspends Ganmi Medical for nine months and sentences Dr. Bu to four years in prison. However, the battle is not over yet as Ganmi Medical plans to appeal the verdict. Fishman's father grows worried about his son's future as his transformation into a full-fledged fish was picking up speed. Fishman's father, Jin and Sang Wan, take him to Korea's best doctors, but none seem to know what to do with him. As a last resort, Jin decides to take him to church. Fishman's father doesn't like the idea, but Jin insists on trying this one last thing. Attempting to exercise the fishman, the church's father beats him up, but when it fails to produce any results, and the father takes his pants off to do God knows what, Fishman's father loses his temper and attacks the man. 
On their way back home, Fishman's father gets into an argument with Jin for humiliating his son in front of everyone. In response, Jin blames him for the entire thing, as he is the one who put intense pressure on Park Gu to get a job. Upset, Fishman's father drags Jin out of the car and questions her motive behind staying with Park Gu, who she says is not her boyfriend. He wonders out loud if she is only with them for publicity and fame. Jin finally admits that she loves Park Gu and asks him to come with her. However, Park Gu's father gives him an ultimatum. Park Gu must choose between her or his father. Jin pleads with Park Gu to come with her, but he chooses his father over her. The tie starts to turn in Dr. Bu's favor and the media starts defending him, highlighting the importance of his work while accusing Gu's supporters of baseless things. Dr. Bu also starts giving interviews to like-minded news channels where he invokes nationalist feelings among the Korean people. He tells the viewers at home about scientists from the USA, Russia, Israel, Japan, and other countries conducting similar experiments and catching up at a rapid speed, as South Korea's Ganmi Medical is slowed down by lawsuits. Ganmi Medical further goes on to assassinate Park Gu's character on national TV. They show the media a manipulative clip of Park Gu seemingly masturbating during the clinical trials in the presence of a nurse. They also pay the nurse to cry on national TV and accuse Park Gu of sexually assaulting her. Ganmi's representative claims that Park Gu broke his contract by engaging in sexual activity and hence the company should not be liable for what happened to him. All of this results in Park Gu losing whatever support he had and people turning on him overnight. Park Gu also learns that South Korean pharmaceutical giant Ogwang and Ganmi Medical are in merger talks. Park Gu continues to maintain his innocence, but the appeals court finds Ganmi Medical not guilty, allowing Dr. Bu to continue his experiments. Unable to see the public denouncing him and burning his effigy, Park Gu runs away. Despite pressure from his mentor, Song Wan continues to pursue the fishman story and look for Park Gu with his father. One day, Song Wan finds his home broken into. Inside, he sees a trail of blood leading to the washroom, where a wounded Park Gu is sitting in the bathtub. Park Gu reveals that he was beaten by a group of middle school kids. Song Wan treats his wounds and the two discuss their aspirations in life. Song Wan tells him that he wanted to become a reporter to report injustice, but he feels like he's not doing a good enough job. After a heartfelt conversation, Sangwon readies a bed for him, but he insists on sleeping in the bathtub. The next day, Sangwon goes to meet Attorney Kim, but only to catch him making secret deals with Dr. Byu and Ganmi Medical. When Sangwon returns home, he finds Park Gu hanging from the ceiling. He panics and immediately rushes him to the hospital. Gu's father joins him at the hospital, and fortunately, he survives. Later, when Kim arrives at the hospital, Sangwon confronts him for making deals with Dr. Bu. Embarrassed, Kim admits talking to Dr. Bu and tells Park Gu's father that his son can't win a case, no matter how hard they try. Kim tells him about Gami's generous offer and Gu's father accepts it. Sangwon protests the decision, but Park Gu tells him that he is tired of court proceedings and asks him to let it go. Meanwhile, Jin begins preparing for civil service examinations. One day, Park Gu pays her a visit to see her one last time. He apologizes to her for everything and gives her a part of the sum he received from Ganmi Medical before leaving. The next day, Park Gu surrenders himself to Ganmi Medical for research and treatment. Some months pass by. Sometime later, Gu's unpredictable life comes to an end. Song Wan sees Gu's real face at his funeral for the first time and joins his father and Jin in spreading his ashes in the ocean. After using Dr. Bu's work to make billions, Ganmi Medical kicks him to the side. With the help of attorney Kim, Ganmi Medical tells the world that Dr. Bu is a swindler who deliberately hid the fact he could cure Park Gu and make him a human again. After the expose, Dr. Bu is expeditiously sent to a trial and given seven years in prison. Dr. Bu falls from grace overnight while Kim becomes a hero. Kim leaves his job as an attorney to become a corrupt politician. 
Meanwhile, Parku's father is spending his retirement doing volunteer work for the country. Jin, on the other hand, has become a popular civil servant. She seems to have found her calling. As time passed by, Sangwon eventually became a full-time reporter at ABS, albeit not a real one. Unable to adjust to the life of a reporter, Sangwon follows his mentor to the culture department of ABS. He spends most of his time editing and creating documentaries on marine animals. The movie then cuts back to the present. It is revealed that the picture that Jin had given to Sang Wan was of the day when they spread the ashes of Park Gu in the ocean. After the meeting, Sang Wan decides to meet Dr. Bu in prison. At the meeting, Sang Wan reveals seeing Park Gu in the distance at the beach the day he accompanied Park Gu's father to the beach. Sang Wan demands to know the truth from Dr. Bu. The latter then reveals that he had offered to turn Park Gu back to a human long before he was exposed by Kim, but Park Gu turned down the offer. The doctor alleges that Park Gu wanted to live the rest of his life as a fish in the ocean. To atone for his deeds, Dr. Bu kept the secret from the world and allowed Park Gu to return to the ocean. Dr. Bu also reveals that Park Gu made one other request. Park Gu wanted Dr. Bu to reveal the truth about him to Sang Wan, should he come seeking the truth. He believed that wanting to know the truth is the job of a real reporter. When Sang Wan returns to his office, he again meets with Jin, who has brought him a videotape. In the tape, Sang Wan sees Jin scuba diving, with Park Gu lurking in the background. He feels a strange happiness from within after seeing Park Gu thriving in the sea. When his boss arrives to see what he is doing, Sangwon tells him that he is going to tell Park Gu's story to the world even if it gets him fired from his job. Dong Sik watches in disbelief as Sangwon walks out with a dream in his eyes. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching. Your one act will make a huge difference to us.